see the presentation yet, but if you haven't and you're saying, you know what, I really could use a really great food processor, but I also need something that's going to blend my drinks, but I also need something that maybe I can make my smoothies with, what should I get? This is it, one product that does it all. And we've got all of the colors available for you. Um, so if you haven't seen the presentation yet, give us just a few minutes and I know you're gonna love your today's special. So you're looking at the Ninja Storm. It is a 450 watt, 40 ounce food and drink maker. You're gonna get 100 recipes that come along with it and everything that we present in this hour, um, the, in terms of the recipes, are going to be what's in that recipe book that you're gonna have a chance to get. Let me show you the colors because we've got it for you in navy. Here is the red. This one is your cinnamon. Take a look at the black. A lot of you are picking up black today. We also have it for you in turquoise. Ooh, that's pretty. Uh, the purple and the mint are two exclusive colors that we have available for you. So we're really glad to be able to present those to you. Now, you're gonna get everything that you need, including the base, the motor, the blades, the attachments, and that booklet that not only is your instructions, but a hundred recipes included. So if you like to make smoothies, if you like to make margaritas, if you like to make soups, whatever it is, you can do it with your ninja. And Rochelle Lucas is joining us. Hi. I'm excited to be cooking with you tonight. I'm sure some of fun. you are getting ready to make some dinner. And we're gonna show you how quick and easy it can be with a ninja storm. But the first okay. thing I'd like to show you is how you can turn ice into snow. Okay. No other blender can do this, not even my super expensive one sitting on my countertop collecting dust. So basically, we've got a stacked blade system here and that is going to <laughs> this ice and make it into snow. So all of the power is really in the palm of my hand here. I'm just pressing up and down. I'm listening to the ice break up into smaller pea-sized bits. And then once I hear that it's really small, I'm just gonna let it run. Oh wow. And we're gonna get super fine, wonderful snow. So why would you wanna make snow? Well, it's 96 degrees today in Florida. So <laughs> yeah, maybe you wanna a make reason. a snowman in your kitchen. <laughs> but you know, you could also, you know, use this for a bed of shrimp if you're doing a shrimp cocktail. Oh yeah. You can do this for, um, we're gonna do some mixed drinks here in a minute, but okay. look at how it makes really super fine, wonderful oh, snow. Wow. I've got to touch. Go ahead and touch snow. it. That's it's real snow. snow. <laughs> oh my gosh. Isn't that great? Yes. So what's able to do that is the stack blade system that Ninja is known and loved for. In 1998, they started, they're like, how can we make a blender better than what's already in the market? And that's how they came up with their stack blade system. So we're going to make so many different delicious things for you today. And we're going to show you how that stack blade system works. And I love that this is a today's special um, for less than $30 because it really does... Uh, really kind of replaces a lot of things, a lot of different appliances. Because with the Ninja Storm, you're gonna be able to really kind of cross over. So if you wanna clean up all of those old appliances from your kitchen, and you only want one that can do it all, you're looking at it. So now I'm gonna make a watermelon margarita. It's five o'clock, right? <laughs> <laughs> so you can hear uh, the ice in there. It's, it's crushing in those blades. It's also blending the margarita mix. It's blending up the watermelon. So you're gonna get a beautiful, smooth, wet restaurant quality cocktail that you can make at home. Which normally, if you were gonna go out and have happy hour with your friends, it'd be, you know, $20 a drink. You can make these at home for much less than that. There's a pour spout on the lid, so you don't have to disassemble anything. All you have to do is lift the lever there on the pour spout and pour. Oh wow, look at that. So cheers to five o'clock. Cheers to for five o'clock. <laughs> this is nice. And that was so fast too. It was really fast. It was really fast. So any kind of frozen drink you wanna do, if you wanna do frosés, we're gonna do a frozen um, sangria a little bit mm. later. And even if you wanna mm. do some that are alcohol free for the kids, you know, we can do smoothies and other things. So that's good. <laughs> That's really good. Oh, I love it. You know what? Because if you're having a part, when it comes to like I'm holding a drink and I think about get togethers with friends and family, this just makes it easy. It really does make it easy. It really does make it easy. So I use the pour spout to pour out the margarita here. I'm gonna use the pour spout now to pour something in. We're gonna make a little pesto mm -hmm. for dinner. So we've got some kale in here. We've got some Parmesan cheese. We have some sunflower seeds. We're gonna do a kale and sunflower seed pesto. 
and I can just pour my oil in there. So if you want to do emulsions, if you want to do um, salad dressings, chimichurri sauce, we're going to do a salsa a little bit later. So even if you're making a smoothie, when you add more uh, liquid into your smoothie, you don't have to disassemble it. You can just use the pour spout to add more liquid in. Okay. And just like that, 20 seconds, we've got a beautiful pesto sauce to put on our zucchini noodles here. Wow. Quick and easy, healthy dinner. Yeah. You know what's included. You know the ingredients that are in there. You don't have to worry about if you're worried about extra salt, if you're worried about preservatives. You know, you can make everything from scratch at home, and it's really easy. Wow. I mean, and, and it is. And I like that it's not bulky. So if this is going to be something that you're thinking about, where am I going to put it? It can easily sit on your countertop. But if you don't have room on the counter, because it's not, you know three feet high and the whole nine yards, it can easily go underneath your cabinet as well. Absolutely. I mean, I'm, pr I'm pretty short too, you know, so, you know, you can kind of get an idea of the size of it and how I'm holding it here. But yeah. it's also great if you're entertaining because it's all super cute with the colors. Mm -hmm. You can just carry it out with your mixed drinks out to the, uh, you know, the backyard, the back patio. Yeah. But I also really enjoy it for food processing. So let's do okay. some food processing here. Okay. I don't know about you, but I hate chopping onions. <laughs> they <laughs> no, make I'm your hands you. stink. They yeah. make you cry. Yeah. My husband made fun of me once because I actually had swim goggles on. <laughs> no, you didn't. I did. I swear I did. Uh, you know, if he's on Facebook, he can comment and he yeah. can show you a picture of him because they make me cry. I'm, a, yeah. I'm such a crier. So I like to chop my onions in the Ninja as a food processor. Just yeah. a couple different pulses. All the power is here in the palm of my hand. So it's a really easy, you know, there's no learning curve with this. There's no different uh, dials you have to do. You don't have to turn it on and off. I it's like It's really, that. you can see the consistency that you want. And once it's where you want it, you can just stop and you've got all of your onions already chopped. And that's what I like too. You don't have to, because you don't have to kind of like program something, you can yeah. stop where you want it to be. You can. So you, you can kind of see, well, okay, I want them a little chunkier or I want them a little bit finer. It's so funny that my, my husband, this was like two weeks ago, he said, you know, we need a food processor because he cuts up the baby's food, yeah. you know, so that it's not, so it's in small bite size. And his arm was getting tired of just using a regular knife this would be, this would be great perfect. for baby food. I'm gonna have yeah. you do this one real quick. This okay. is just carrots. I just want you to show everyone how easy this is. All you okay. have to do is pulse it with your hand. And then you can see the carrot chopping in here. So if you wanna make a carrot salad, if you wanna make spring rolls, if you wanna do a beautiful oh, yeah. carrot cake, mm -hmm. all of your prep work's already done, so it's done. Oh, that's good. That's it. <laughs> really? <laughs> I mean, so, it's, it's, too, it's almost too fast. It's really you know? fast. It's gonna save you time in the kitchen. You don't have to get out your knives. You don't have to get out your cutting board. All of that's already done for you. Now that I have this upside down too, I'll show you there's a no stick bottom here. So that way it's, gonna not, it's not gonna slip on your countertop. So when you are pulsing some big things in there, you're gonna have a nice grip. Also, if you have it full of your favorite cocktail and you have it on your, you know, on your table in your back porch, you know, it's not going to slip on the table. So they really have thought of everything to make this a really comfortable, really beautiful design, really fun to use. Mm -hmm. And it comes with another lid too. So if you do make, you know, something to, you know, prep for dinner the night before, or if you want to make a chicken salad or, or yeah. put your sauce in the fridge, you can put the uh, lid on top, pop it in the fridge and you're good to go. This is so good. And remember, you're seeing some of the colors that we've got for you. Black has been very popular. I think a lot of people are reaching for that black. This one is called cinnamon. It's so a, if you love a deeper color. deep red. It reminds yes. me of wine. This is one of my favorites because it reminds me of wine. It does look like that. But I want to show you all the ingredients here. We're getting ready to make a salsa. So I have some whole Ooh. tomatoes in here. We actually have a whole lime. It's just been peeled. We also have some cilantro and some onion. So we're just going to pulse it here with our fingers. Okay. And you can see all the power is in the palm of my hand. All the control is in the palm of my hand. It's so easy to use. Oh my gosh. There's no levers. You can control how chunky you want it or how smooth you want it. Yeah. And with every pulse, the ingredients kind of pop up and down. So they're all making it down to that double stacked blade system. So everything's going to be cut so evenly, so nicely. I'm going to let it run here real quick and do a nice smooth salsa. I'm telling you, there's nothing like fresh salsa. I yes, mean... The do you agree? There's I nothing totally like this. I totally agree. So here, I'll open this up so you can see everything's been wonderfully blended, except for this one little piece of cilantro <laughs> I'm going to pop out. But here you can see all the cilantro in there. You can see all the onions in there. It's really a restaurant quality style mm -hmm. salsa. And you know you know what the ingredients are in here. You know, there's no preservatives. There's nothing in there you can't pronounce. Yeah. Everything's fresh and flavorful. And oh, there you go. Wow. And then you can make it <laughs> as hot or as mild as you want it to be. And you can make it, you know, you can make several different 
you could you know, levels of it and look because at you're how in control. Fast we did that too. So if you wanted to do one that was more spicy, you could do a spicy one, then you could really quickly make them one that's more mild. So that way you've got two different flavors on the table. Okay. Um, it does come with a lid, of course, too, so you can pop the lid on if you have any leftover. Personally, we never have any leftover salsa in my house. <laughs> my husband loves salsa and he loves hummus, and so this is like a money saver for me because I can freshly make it at home. And you know what? That salsa recipe is in the booklet hummus you mentioned recipe yes. is in the booklet uh there's that chicken salad you can uh, broccoli and cheddar soup, vegetable tortilla soup. There's so much. There are a hundred recipes that are coming in the booklet along with your Ninja Storm that you're getting today for less than $30. So as you're looking at this and you're saying, wait a minute, it is a food processor. It is, it, it crushed and chopped the ice. It can make drinks. It can make soups. It does it all. And there's nothing I have to program I don't have to be computer savvy to use it, which I love that. Um, I don't have to know how to program anything. I literally just press it and determine, okay, that's good. That's where I'm going to stop. Exactly. It's so simple to use. You don't have to worry about programming. You don't have to worry about getting confused about any buttons on the front of the, like what, normal blenders. It's really just all in the palm of your hand on the top of the, mo and the motor pod because you can control how chunky you want your, your salsa to be. You can control how smooth you want it to be. Mm -hmm. You can see the consistency of the food in the uh, pitcher. So really it's so simple to use. It really becomes your your day-to-day -day best friend. Yeah, and I think it is the kind of thing that you will use more often than not, if not day-to-day. -day. Because obviously if you're a smoothie drinker, you're gonna use this every day. But it's but it's more it's so much more than just that. It's so much more than quote unquote a blender because it can do so much. As a matter of fact, you're getting those extra the blades and that extra lid. The motor is all right here and everything else other than the motor, every Everything else can pop in the dishwasher. It can. It can. Mm -hmm. It's so easy to use. And I love that there's a hundred different recipes in this book. Once you get it home, of course, do the ice to snow first. Everybody loves to do that. As soon as they get it home, they take it out of the box and they think, I'm going to throw ice in here. And they put the ice in there and they make the snow and they get mm. so excited. Mm. Are you enjoying that salsa? Oh my God. <laughs> no. Michelle did warn me it was going to be hot. And I said, I can handle hot. Ooh, it's, it's hot. hot. <laughs> it's a whole jalapeno in there. Oh my God, it's really hot. I'm going to make you a smoothie here real quick to cool that Thank down. Goodness. <laughs> the margarita's there too in case you need it. But now we're going to do a strawberry banana smoothie. So we've got just got some uh, frozen strawberries in there to give it a little bit of um, cooling effect for that. Okay. For that salsa. We also have two whole bananas. We've got some milk in there. You could choose your own milks too. So if you wanted to do like almond milk or cashew milk, you could do that as well. All I did was put all in there, put the pod back on top, and then I'm just going to pulse it to break up those big ingredients. Look at how easy that is. I'm just pulsing it with three fingers, no real pressure at all. And then as soon as I see that those big strawberries have been broken up, I can let it run and just hold it for yeah. a little bit longer and get it to the consistency that I want. Now, were those, fresh were those fresh strawberries or were they, they frozen? Were frozen? They were frozen to give it a, that's my ice. The frozen fruit uh -huh. is my ice. Okay. So you could do uh, smoothies. We're going to do a sorbet here in a minute. Mm -hmm. But look at that smoothie. I just wanted to show you the consistency there. I'm actually going to pour this to show you the pour spout again. Okay. Um, and also give you a smoothie to drink since the salsa <laughs> was a little hot. But of course, you know, the recipe book is going to take you through breakfast, lunch, dinner, entertaining, cocktails. It's really going to be your go-to throughout the summer. I mean, you go to uh, a smoothie place, you mm -hmm. spend a flex pay on one smoothie. Oh, yes, for sure. Right? Or even a cocktail. I mean, you know, if you go out to uh, dinner, you know, mm -hmm. most frozen cocktails are 10 mm. to $15. So instead you can invite your friends over oh and make bottomless cocktails with mm. your new ninja store. Mm, mm. So in addition to making smoothies, isn't it good? Mm -hmm. That's the banana strawberry smoothie. So in addition to making smoothies, whenever I'm entertaining, I usually invite my family over for brunch. And so I do a lot of quiches, I'll do stratas. And so this is an example of a strata. So if you can see in the, in, in the container here, I've got eggs, I've got, here I'm gonna flip it around on this side, I can see it uh, on my side a little bit better. Okay. There's eggs, there's spinach, we've got whole blocks of cheese. So there's some Monterey Jack cheese in there, there's some, um, um, feta in there. So really this is going to chop and mix and blend all at the same time for me. So I don't have to get out, you know, my cutting board and chop up the cheese. I can right. buy fresh cheese that's not already grated with all those extra additives in it. Mm -hmm. I can add my vegetables in there and blend it in with the eggs. And then just really all of this is in the power of my palm. I'm just pressing this with a couple fingers so it doesn't take a lot of pressure at all. Mm -hmm. I've chopped all that up. I'm going to let it run really nice and smooth. 
So you can do this for your omelets. If you want to make omelets too in the morning, you just want to blend some extra vegetables in there. Mm. Look at how wonderfully that just blended and chopped everything all with the palm of my hand, oh, wow. all with a couple of seconds. Yeah. And without having to bring out my knives and cutting boards and everything else. Right, and then so from there, what would you do to so finish here, this? So here, to finish this, so this is uh, basically a strata. So this is broken up breadcrumbs that we've poured the egg mixture on and baked and, and put cheese on top uh, and baked it some more. So it's mm -hmm. really delicious. But if wow. you wanted to go carb-free, mm -hmm. you could do this as a, as a crustless quiche. You could do a frittata. Mm -hmm. You could just do omelets in the pan. And you'd yeah. get quite a few omelets with uh, 40 ounces here. So. You really could. Yeah. Is the recipe for that in the book as well? It is, of course. Okay. Everything we're doing today is in the book. I want just... Plus more. <laughs> and, and if you're just joining us, what you're looking at is our today's special. We've been so excited about this because it is that one product. I'm going to hold up the purple, one of the exclusive colors that we've got. Uh, purple and mint are the two exclusive color, colors that you're only going to find here at HSN. So we've been excited because this is not... A, another one appliance. This is, yes, your traditional blender. Yes, you can make your smoothies and your frozen drinks. You can make your soups. You can make your purees. You can chop with this. So it's your food processor. All of that in one, in a, an appliance that doesn't take up a lot of space and room, whether it sits on your countertop or whether it has to go underneath the cabinet. So you're seeing all of the colors. I told you the mint and the purple are exclusive, but the turquoise we also have, that navy blue is really pretty. Next to the navy blue is the red, and then the cinnamon and black are right there on the edges. Red and black are the two most popular colors today. You're gonna get the, the, the motor, piece, you're going to get the canister. You're also going to get that extra lid. And of course the blade comes right along with it. And that recipe book with a hundred recipes. And these are all easy to, easy to follow. There's um, color photos. Color photos. Yeah. This and is great. Before I blend this up. So we've done so many sweet things. We've done breakfast. We've done smoothies. We're actually going to grind up some meat here. So okay. before I grind up the meat, I want to show you what I have in here. We have actually uh, cubes of sirloin. So you can pick some really wonderful meats that you want to grind up and, and make your burgers with. We've also have chunks of cheddar cheese and a jalapeno. So really just pressing the button at the top, like I've done with all of the other recipes, no effort at all. I'm just pulsing it. And as I'm pulsing it, it's chopping up that cheese. It's blending all the ingredients together. So that way when you're making your burgers for 4th of July, you get a nice piece of cheese with every single bite <laughs> you know for those that want the jalapeno in there and want it a little bit spicier you've got the jalapeno in there I'm just gonna let this run and really get ground up there but really you can do some chicken sausage there's a great breakfast chicken sausage recipe in there wow. and there you can see how that's all nice and ground up it's all mixed together we did some sirloin steak with some cheddar cheese and jalapeno so you can make some really amazing ground meats and burgers and some sausage patties for breakfast shell that's amazing I've never seen a demonstration with that with me from sirloin down to, to ground like that. I, I really big. love it because if yeah. you're really picky about the types of meats that you're using, if you yeah. want to go organic or free range, mm -hmm. but you don't have a, you know, have a hard time finding that, yeah. um, you can make your own. You can make your home, own a home. Now, can I only put cold or frozen in here? Yeah, I wouldn't put hot in there. Okay. But you could do like mashed potatoes and then cook it. I know there's some recipes in there for hot recipes and basically this is your prep uh, base and then you cook it afterwards. So okay. you can do some other things in there. Okay. So now we're going to do a frozen dessert. We're going to do a raspberry very frozen yogurt. So if you want to do something sugar-free, maybe more on the healthy side, mm -hmm. you know, if you're trying to eat more healthy or not, you know, <laughs> if you want to, if you want to add some sugar in here too, you can do that. But look, it's going to blend the yogurt. It's going to chop up the frozen berries. It's going to make a wonderful, nice soft serve um, frozen yogurt. And really this is great. I know earlier this week, uh, my husband and I were binging our favorite show and yeah. he was craving something sweet, but I didn't have any dessert, but I had some frozen fruit in the freezer and yeah. I had some yogurt. And so I was able to easily make a quick and easy dessert. Oh, how simple was that? Very simple. And you take something really simple and make it special. Exactly. Just like that. Exactly. And we're gonna do a sorbet a little bit later. So there's really a lot of different fun frozen desserts you can do. This is more mm -hmm. like a smoothie bowl or a soft serve yeah. uh, frozen yogurt. Um, so really, if you're wanting to control the ingredients that you feed your family, if you wanna make something quick and easy, if you mm -hmm. wanna save money, there's really so many different things you can do with the Ninja Storm because it is your blender. It's your mm -hmm. food processor. It's kind of your kitchen buddy. Yeah, <laughs> all at one, all, all in one. one and really simple and again, you know, 
know, I, I love technology as much as the next person, but I'm all about a low tech if I can get it. Yes. Which means there are no buttons, there's nothing to program, there's no computer screen, there are no bells and whistles. All of the power is in the palm of your hand. You plug it in, obviously, plugs mm -hmm. it into any outlet, but then you control how long something is, is being chopped or blended based off of how long you hold your hand out. It's that simple. It's really simple. So what I'm pulsing right now, one. oh, for sure, have a taste. Now, right now I'm making a uh, deli-style chicken salad, so we have some grapes in there, we had some celery, and celery's pretty fibrous. And you know, if you wanted to make a normal chicken salad, you'd have to cut the grapes in half on your own. You'd have to, you know, chop the celery and bring out your uh, cutting board and your knives. Mm -hmm. This is doing all of that work for you. All you do is add all the ingredients in here. You have a quick and easy lunch just in the palm of your hand. We've got this beautiful <laughs> deli style chicken salad. You had me at cut the grapes in half by hand. Yeah, yeah no. no, I'm not chasing a grape over <laughs> around a, a cutting board. So, you know, you could put this on crackers. You could put this on a croissant like we're doing now to make a beautiful deli style sandwich. Um, you could even just eat it out of the pitcher, you yeah. know, if you're, if you're really, uh, you know, in yeah. a hurry and you just wanted a really quick lunch. But you get this beautiful, flavorful chicken salad. Um, mm -hmm. You didn't have to cut anything. You didn't have to prep anything. The Ninja Storm basically did all of that for you. Did all the mixing, it did all the chopping. Yeah. You didn't have to cut the grapes by hand. Right. <laughs> and then when I want to clean it, it's dishwasher friendly. Okay. So basically you just remove the motor and everything else will you know, go into your dishwasher. So the lid and the pitcher and the blade are all dishwasher safe. So you know, if you're having family over, if you're entertaining, if you do make that breakfast strata we showed a little bit earlier, mm -hmm. you know, you can make it, put it in the oven, throw everything else in the dishwasher and nobody sees, you know, they think that you're a master chef, right? Yes. That you've done all this prep work and really yeah. it was all done in the Ninja. As you can see, over 19,000 of these just today have been ordered. If you don't have yours yet, and you've been wanting one, and you're watching the demonstrations, and you're saying, well, it does look very easy. It really is. I mean, there's, there's no trick here. You just plug it in, put the food in, and then push down along the top. That's it. Go ahead and pick yours up. You're looking at one of the exclusive colors, which is the mint, and then the purple one was right next to that. But we still have black and red, which are most popular. We still have cinnamon and navy and turquoise. But only for today are they, are they gonna be about $20 less than our regular HSN price. So I don't want you to miss out. And we've gone from breakfast to lunches to snacks to desserts, desserts. to drinks. We've done it all. We've really done it all. And so now I just made a basic whipped cream. So this is one ingredient. This was just heavy whipping cream. Oh, wow. That I just pulsed in there for just a little bit longer and it whipped all the air in there so I didn't have to get out my whisk. I didn't have to work out my arms. <laughs> because if you didn't have something like this, how would you make whipped cream? You would literally. Uh, you would, you would literally... have to whisk it. And it would take you about seven minutes to whisk it by hand. Nonstop. Nonstop. As going as fast as you possibly exactly. could. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's so, a lot. Again, it comes with the lid so you could just pop the lid on and save your whipped cream for your dessert or put it in the fridge if you have any leftover. Mm. But you've got this beautiful, delicious whipped cream. You could add a little vanilla in there. You could add a little lemon zest if you wanted to. Can oh, I? absolutely. Please, I yeah, just have go to. Go for it, go just for it. Because that's what you do with whipped cream. Oh, for sure. It's so creamy, isn't it? It's delicious. So that was just heavy whipping cream, that's it? That's it, that's it. You could add vanilla, you could add other things, oh, but really good. just simple having whipping cream is just so delicious. And you, not going to the grocery store and buying that tub of who knows what's in there. Oh yeah, you know? all the ingredients you can't pronounce, right? Right, <laughs> you know what's in here because you made it and you saw it you know, coming through. So whether it's your desserts, your salads, meat, you ground meat. We ground meat. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we whisk together our eggs, so any type of egg recipe you have, whether that's custards or if you're gonna be doing um, frittatas or even a quiche, if you wanna do a crustless quiche, if you're trying to um, go you know, carb free, you can do that too. But really, I think my favorite is doing the ice to snow. So we're gonna do that yeah. again in case anybody missed it. Maybe you're just joining us and you're seeing our today's special is the Ninja Storm. It has been very popular, over 19,000 ordered just, to just today. And look at that, that's regular ice from the freezer. So it's regular ice from the freezer. I'm just using two fingers here through the palm of my hand, so I don't really have to put much pressure at all. I'm breaking up those larger pieces of the ice with the pulses. You can see it kind of pop up and down and reach that double blade system. And now that it's all kind of smooth, I'm just gonna let it whip for a little bit. 
and we've made snow, which oh is gosh. perfect for summertime. You yeah. know, whether you're looking to make some frozen drinks, or if you want to put your shrimp cocktail on there, yeah. or even if you just want to play with it with the kids, what right? If you want to do <laughs> snow cones, you could do snow cones. I mean, remember that when, when remember when we were kids and you would get a snow cone with whatever kind of syrup you wanted. Oh, that's so delicious. Yeah, I love it. Or even if you wanted to do granitas, you know, you could do some uh, Italian style granitas, which are really delicious. Oh, but nice. the reason we're able to do that is because of the stacked blade system. So this is really unique to Ninja. In 1998, they were looking at all of the different uh, blenders on the market. And they're like, how can we do this better? How can we do this differently? And that's how they came up with the stacked blade system. So you don't have to push all the ingredients down to the blades because you've mm. got four blades here and because they are stacked. So all of the ingredients are going to get chopped and mixed and blended really well. And that's why we can make snow. <laughs> okay, so when you get this home, that might be the first thing you do, just to test it out. For you know? sure. Um, but then whatever else it is that you like to eat or drink or serve to yourself or to your family, do that too in your Ninja Storm. We're, you know, you're having a party. Um, and you want some adult beverages. Oh, adult beverages are my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> it's after five, right? We've got to, we've got to celebrate it being uh, five o'clock on, on technically Monday, right? That's it's right. Most, most people's first day back to work today. So right now I'm going to make a frozen sangria. Okay. You could do a frosé. Oh, yeah. We did margaritas earlier. So pretty much any frozen fruit, or if you're doing a margarita, you just put ice. We've got the wine mm -hmm. in there. You're going to just sit the uh, pod right on top of the mm -hmm. pitcher, and then all of the power is in the palm of your I'm hand. Just so You're you just can gonna see it a little bit better. Oh, perfect. Yeah. And then as I'm blending it, all of it's gonna be uh, mixed together. It's gonna be chopped, and we're gonna make a beautiful, smooth frozen drink. So I'm just gonna let this run a couple times. Mm -hmm. And I love that you can make restaurant quality style drinks at home and have this wonderful picture for entertaining. Yeah. Um, you can impress your friends. Mm -hmm. You can just do this to celebrate a Friday or, or Tuesday as it yeah. is tonight. Yeah. I'm gonna pop that so it'll be all ready for the pour. For sure. And then of course we've got the pour spout here so we could just pour it. We don't have to disassemble anything. And we've got a wonderful frozen sangria. Ooh, nice. I mean, you would probably spend $15 at a restaurant for this yes. kind of drink. Yes. You know? The only yeah. thing we're missing is the umbrella, which we can probably <laughs> pick up at a party store. <laughs> That's right. That's right. And you've got this. And so, and it's the same appliance that you made your, you know, that you crushed the, the snow in, crushed the ice in. Yes. It's going to be the same appliance that you use as a food processor, the same appliance that you use when you're making your homemade dressings and your, you know, your pestos, the same appliance. So you're not having to have one of those single use appliances. We have enough of those. We've got a toaster that only does bread. We have a coffee maker that only makes coffee. <laughs> I love that this is that multi-use. It really is. It's your okay. blender, it's your food processor, mm -hmm. it's your uh, mixer. It really does so many different things. So right now I'm making a tropical, um, a tropical sorbet. So we've got some frozen mango, we've got some frozen pineapple, and then just a little bit of almond milk. So this is dairy free. So if you wanna go dairy free, if you wanna control the ingredients in your desserts this summer, if you're trying to eat a little bit lighter, I'm just gonna let this whip now and add a little bit of air in there. Yeah. And then look at this beautiful frozen dessert we oh, quickly okay. made. Look at how pretty, I'll pop that back in so that you can pour. So if you wanna just make something quick and easy at home, if you're on a diet and you wanna go sugar free, you can mm -hmm. go sugar free. Yeah. I love frozen fruit. It's so delicious, it's so refreshing in the summertime. So you could do granitas, frozen drinks. Um, there's a wonderful peach ice cream in, in the recipe book that Ooh. is so, so delicious. So really, you can make this for your family and have a quick and frozen oh my gosh. drink to, or quick frozen uh, dessert to make at home. So that way, you know, if you've got a little sweet tooth, if you've got a little yeah. craving, yeah. Um, you know, you can uh, look in your freezer, see what ingredients you have, and then whip up something delicious. Pull out your Ninja. <laughs> your Ninja can do it. Um, if you're just joining us, remember, it's our Today Special, so the price is only good for today. You've got four flex on this one. And we're going to go to the phones because oh. Bonnie's giving us a call from Arizona. Or oh, is that Arizona? Bonnie? Bonnie, are you there? Yes. Great Hi. to talk with you, Bonnie. Tell us, what do you love about the Ninja brand? Oh, I'll tell you what, I got a Ninja years and years ago. Mm -hmm. And the Ninja that I bought was bigger than this one, mm -hmm. but I'm telling you what, I'm a cook. And I am just ecstatic with my Ninja. I have my seven and eight hundred dollar blenders, my three and four food processors stuck mm -hmm. on shelves in my garage. Wow. Gathering dust. I use nothing but my Ninja since I bought this years ago. Wow. It does what it says it's going to do. Yeah. It chops your vegetables. It doesn't get like a film around the blades where 
it, you have to keep cleaning it off. It literally chops the vegetable. The, the blades remain sharp, and I've had them for years. Wow. Literally years. Then, and yeah. I saw this going on TV. I had to buy one for my friend. <laughs> I had to. So I, I make homemade salsa. I uh -huh. make a lot of things where I have to chop vegetables. I have arthritis. Yeah. I don't have to worry about sitting there chopping vegetables. Mm -hmm. I throw stuff in there, and yeah. hey, it is done. I make literally gallons of salsa when I make it. Yeah. It's gone in one day. I give it out to all my friends. It's gone. <laughs> Yeah, anything oh, I make, um, you like adult be uh, beverages? Mm hmm. Uh, I make a chocolate berry daiquiri that is to die <gasps> for. Oh, my and gosh. That's nothing. It takes that ice and chops it down to nothing. To nothing, Fantastic. Bonnie. Fantastic. Yeah, Bonnie, I'm so glad oh. that you called. Um, and I'm glad that you were saying you've been using your Ninja for years and it's still going strong because um, because that that means a lot. The fact that you didn't pay, she said hundreds of dollars you could yeah. pay for a lot of blender, so to speak. But this is so much more than that. So, Bonnie, thank you so much for your phone call. And I'm glad that you're sharing it now with your friend. But she's right. I was telling my mom the other day, cooking is a very physical it is. job with all the cutting and the chopping and the whole nine yards. Or... You just push down. You just push down. And so what I was making earlier is we just did some riced cauliflower. Cauliflower, riced cauliflower, if you buy it in the freezer section or in the deli, it's so expensive. Yeah. With this, all you have to do is buy the head of cauliflower, which is maybe $2, and you can make your own riced cauliflower at home. You can add your own additional ingredients. We've got some parsley in there to make it a little bit more colorful and flavorful. Mm -hmm. Right here, we've got some hummus. So really just a, ch a can of chickpeas, and we've got hummus, you yes. know, in about three seconds. Without that. all the extra... I know that our clock is gone, but you can go ahead and pick up your today's special. You're seeing it there in turquoise. We also have it in purple. Very popular in red and black. We have navy and mint and cinnamon as well for just under $30. Now, Rochelle, you're not going far. No, I'll be here. We'll see you back next hour. We'll be cooking some more dinner. You can, <laughs> you can keep shopping for your Ninja Today special, and I would love to be able to send yours right on out to you. Now, we do have Debbie Meyer green boxes coming up in this hour. So after maybe you make your salsas and you have, if you, if you have any leftover, that might be where you want to store it or all of the fresh vegetables and fruits that you're going to be getting at the farmer's markets this year. You want to store them so that they last longer, so that they stay fresher longer. So we've got Debbie Meyer Green Boxes, the home collection, which is a 34-piece collection, and that's coming up in uh, just a few minutes. But we are moving on. We are going to stay in the kitchen, though. Uh, John Florell join, is joining us with the road the rotato <laughs> you know, i'm looking confused. at the potato <laughs> the rotato it's an it's an electric uh, an express electric peeler and slicer right and look and you're not even look mom i know no you hands. don't even have to touch it yeah <laughs> one long continuous peel of any type of fruit or vegetable that you would ever need to peel in the kitchen and you know most people they use peelers like this, right? <laughs> Where you get down and you happen to take off a nail or a knuckle oh, or yeah. a band of a fingernail. Now you never have to worry about it. It shuts off by itself. Here's how easy it is to use, okay? And real quick, it's so simple. It plugs into your wall or underneath there's a place for four AA batteries. So for camping, fishing, taking it RVing, uh, you can do this right out on the uh, you know, one, uh, picnic table. Or you can plug it into the wall if you like. Uh, the cutting blade is right here on the end of the arm. See, it's a spring-loaded arm, okay? So what you're gonna do is take any potato, any vegetable that you need to peel, you place it on the prongs on the bottom of the machine, you slide the arm down on the top, and then you raise the cutting arm up to the top of the potato, you press this one button. All you do is press a button, and it does the work for you. Yeah, <laughs> so you don't even have to touch it anymore. I like that. Peel potatoes, apples, beets, carrots, pears, zucchini. Uh, but for making homemade French, or look at this, homemade shoestring potatoes. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it, and here's the cool thing about this. I'm not only peeling the potato, yeah. but I can also spiralize with it. Okay. Because all I have to do when it gets down to the bottom and shuts off, yeah. raise the arm back up to the top, push the button again, and it'll take another complete layer off oh, wow. so you keep going and going and going and going <laughs> it's wow. just, so you can make mounds and mounds of string potatoes like that yeah but where you're really gonna love it I think 
is if you're into zucchini noodles, mm -hmm. a lot I of people am. are these days. Mm -hmm. They're uh, no carb, uh, easy way to get away from carbs. Mm -hmm. You just push the button, put a zucchini in the machine. And again, instead of those spiralizers that take forever, or instead of buying zucchini in, you know, this mm -hmm. spiralized zucchini in yes. that container in the supermarket yeah. for like, I don't know, $5 <laughs> a pound for zucchini. Right. How much does zucchini cost? Right. They're like two, two or three for a dollar, yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And now you can do this yourself. And you'll notice too, I'm gonna raise this back up because we're gonna keep this spiralized going here. Okay. All right. You'll notice too how this arm has a spring, okay? Mm -hmm. It conforms to whatever shape the fruit or vegetable you do. Okay. So it doesn't matter if it's fat, skinny, narrow, wide. It doesn't matter if it's oblong. It will contour to the shape and peel your vegetable perfectly okay. right down to the end. Now, next time the kids come home from school, and actually school is out pretty much now, mm -hmm. right? Pretty the kids much. are gonna be home. They love apples, but nobody likes to peel them. Mm -hmm. So instead of you peeling the apples for the kids, have the kids put an apple in the rotato. They can do it themselves. You just leave it out on the countertop or tabletop, let it go. It yeah. does the work for you. And I like with, with the peel, if you're just taking the outside peel right? off, it's, there's no waste. You're right. not taking out too much of a chunk of the apple. That's exactly right. And you can see how it conforms, right? Mm -hmm. it, it forms and shapes to it. Now the other thing too, whenever, if you ever get like a brown spot, like especially with potatoes, okay? Yes. I like to point this out, underneath the machine, there's a little, right here, I call it the eye gouger outer, okay? <laughs> for your potatoes. Is that the technical so, term, John? It's, a, it's the technical term. So <laughs> what you're gonna do for, if for an eye in the potato or a bad spot, you can use that to dig the eyes out of your potato. Potatoes, okay? okay, and it stores right on board underneath the machine. I mean, this is the perfect gift for that uh, for that foodie in your life that has everything in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. But watch this because I mean, what for a housewarming gift, yeah. a wedding shower gift, for anniversaries. Uh -huh. I mean, it's the perfect gift for anybody. Listen, again, instead of using that old knuckle buster peeler like everybody has in their kitchen, yeah. Now with the rotato, yeah. you can do so much more. I and like that it's um, it's a it's a conversation piece it, it's fun that works it's you know? fun yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I mean you can read the re reviews online people love this thing mm -hmm. and uh, here I gave one to a bartender friend of mine okay <laughs> they I get free drinks every time I go to the bar now <laughs> and the reason is watch this for orange zest lemon zest oh, lime zest I mean, if you you know if you want to twist a lemon a twist a lime or a twist an orange yeah uh, you want to get twisted the rotato <laughs> will do it okay and what's so great nice. about it too is you get that one long continuous peel so you can cut these into little pieces or you can use that as a garnish on top of a cake or a yeah. pie. In fact, yeah. look at what we did with potatoes, okay? okay? We actually threw a couple, we fried up the potatoes, yeah. did a couple of eggs on top. But again, you can use it for making your zoodles. You yeah. pour your pasta sauce right on top. Mm -hmm. And instead of, you know, going to go to the grocery store and, and buying them already done for you, mm -hmm. you can do it yourself at home. Now, here's a little trick that I'm gonna show you. And it doesn't matter what color you get, they all work the same. That's right. Um, Red, blue, black, or gray. Right? Here's a little tip, though, that I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you right up front here. Instead of putting the potato in just regular, before you do it, I found this out. It's kind of fun. If you like hash brown potatoes, just oh. take a knife, a little paring knife, and okay. score your potato about four or five times as you go around like this. Okay. And now, instead of coming out in one long, continuous peel, you can make hash brown potatoes, okay? You oh. raise that arm up, push the button, and look at this. Oh, wow. Now you're making hash browns. How cool is that? <laughs> I know, it's pretty cool. And, that, and you can make them by the mounds and have fun doing it. That's the thing. That's cool Cooking tip. doesn't take time in the kitchen. It's yeah. the prep that takes all the time. That's right. And, you know, if you've got one of those old four-sided tin can knuckle buster graters, mm -hmm. right, you know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. for, for making hash browns, forget it. This is the way you do it. And then raise the barn back up to the top again, and you just yeah. keep going and going and going and going. Oh, this is good. <laughs> this is fun, isn't it? Uh, it really is fun, and it works. And you can see whether it's, it's all the things that we peel anyway. Right. It's the potatoes, the apples, well, the zucchini, the squash. And the... it does so much. Yeah. In fact, I can take, here, I'll take a red, ripe, juicy tomato. Okay. okay? I'm going to put it on the rotato You're like gonna this. You're going to peel the tomato. And watch this. Now, yeah, you don't have to blanch your tomatoes anymore. Now, you can actually peel a red, ripe, wow. juicy tomato with the rotato. Okay? Oh my but goodness. it'll not only do something as delicate as a red, ripe, juicy tomato. Mm -hmm. Okay? It'll also do things that are really tough to peel, like 
a mango. Okay. All right. Next time you, you're, you're, hey, listen, if you've ever tried to peel mangoes by hand, yeah. they're slippery, slimy, mm -hmm. they get that stuff all over. Now you can peel your mangoes with the rotato. And again, I like to show this because mangoes are kind of oblong vegetable fruits, right? Mm -hmm. You can see how that arm contours to the shape of whatever fruit or vegetable that you want to peel. Mm -hmm. Now it also, in case you don't know, you'll notice the peeling blade right here. Yeah. If that's yeah. ever in the dishwasher, okay, when it gets dirty, you can just pop it in the dishwasher. Okay. Or rinse it off my hand. Okay. But there are also two extra down here underneath the machine. You'll see this little compartment. Yeah. There's two extra peeling blades oh, in there that great. come with it. Yeah. The batteries go in here. So you can unhook this. And again, you can use a rotato battery operated mm -hmm. so you don't have to worry about it so if i wanted to do that orange mm -hmm. to make a you know a little uh a little twist of orange yeah. for a, a margarita or anything like that i can do it oh that's so good with no cords attached look at that and look at this one continuous peel and going yeah. and going <laughs> you okay. can take it camping you can put it on the picnic red, table red <laughs> black gray or blue those are your choices you did oranges tomatoes mangoes oh, that zucchini so good. you can do it all go ahead and pick yours up this was fun John John, thank you. Hey, thank you. I'm going to jump we rope. We can jump rope with that. <laughs> jump rope with All right, we're going to take a peel. quick break, uh, and we're going to tell you about the list with Colleen Lopez, and then we're going to come back for more. The list is your go-to guide for our favorite fashion and accessory finds of the week. We have the best styles hand-picked just for you. Join us every Thursday night to see what made the list. Summer's here, and your favorite HSN hosts are celebrating with their favorite finds, new discoveries, and buy flex pay on all their picks. Kick off your summer with HSN's Summer Host Pick Event. Starts Monday night at 10 p.m. My singular goal is to improve the quality of people's lives. Everything we do is intended to be unlike any other company of our kind. We just make exceptional vitamins so you could have exceptional health. It's not important that you get the products I'm offering, but it's very important that you get the information I'm sharing because information is the key to being a healthy person. Shop like a VIP with the HSN credit card. Apply now and instantly get $10 off when you're approved. As an HSN card member, you'll get all kinds of perks like extra flex on jewelry, beauty, and fashion purchases all day, every day. Plus VIP financing, VIP easy returns, exclusive offers, and there's no annual fee. Apply now. Call 1-800-695-1418 or search HSN card at hsn.com. You can't afford not to be brave. It's not even an option. When life puts a wall in front of you, you break it down. Remove the fear. Remove the uncertainty. Be authentic. They say fortune favors the bold. I've been bold all my life, and I don't plan on stopping anytime soon. Well, you are watching HSN. My name is Tamara Hooks, and we're in the kitchen, and we've been in the kitchen all this throughout this hour, and we've been blending up vegetables and fruits. Maybe you have been enjoying the summer fruits and vegetables that are coming out now, but if you want a way to keep them fresher longer, you're looking at it with the Debbie Meyer Green Boxes. Now, this is everything that you're getting. This is the home collection. So you've got lots of different shapes and sizes, some that you're going to store in the refrigerator or freezer, and some that you're going to take right along with you, but all of them are going to keep your fresh fruits and vegetables and baked goods fresher, longer, and all courtesy of Debbie Meyer herself. Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> We're always glad that you're here, especially Thanks. this time of year. Well, Excuse me, you know, as far as I'm concerned, there is no time of year <laughs> for, if you eat, you need my boxes. It's yeah. as simple as that. Because I'm gonna show, first of all, I'm gonna go hop right into showing you what they do for you because this is the most important part. This is the science of keeping your food fresh longer. These are no ordinary boxes. Have a look down here at the strawberries that I purchased, and raspberries that I purchased nine days ago. Same day, same time, same box, same everything. Store these the way they ordinarily, you ordinarily would stored these simply by putting them into my green box and left them in the fridge 
for nine days. The difference is I can eat this strawberry, I can only throw those away and only happily to do so. <laughs> but that is wasted money, wasted food. This is the nutrition and what I purchased in my family. Mm -hmm. Look at those raspberries, it's the same thing. Nine days, nine days. Look at that raspberry. I can roll it around, it's nine days old. Nine days fresh, mm -hmm. rather, because they were in my green box. Now, let me tell you, explain to you how these work. You see those nine days? There's numbers all over these tables. That comes from independent laboratory testing, scientifically proven that, and this is the quote, Debbie Meyer green boxes will extend the life of fruits, vegetables, baked goods, and snacks. Mm -hmm. And that's a scientific statement because my boxes are made with my proprietary formula of natural ingredients. It's not painted on, it's not a surface that you can wash off, it'll never wash out, never wear off, and keeps working as long as the box exists. They are BPA free, top rack dishwasher safe, proudly made in America. Now you see some produce here, but if you come back here, I've also added a natural, all natural freshness agent that allows you to keep your baked goods fresh longer as well. So you look, look there, at 11 days the independent laboratory test said, you can expect that. Mm -hmm. Now, who wants to stick their hand in a bag of bread and come out with a piece of that? Mm -hmm. Not me, or I don't want my family or grandchildren or anyone to do that either. Same thing with bagels, English muffins, hamburger rolls, any kind of uh, baked goods. Mm -hmm. Think of those artisan breads that cost a fortune, mm -hmm. mm, and they are bad the next day. Yes, they okay, are. Okay, stop doing that. Because <laughs> <laughs> now enjoy them. Because Go ahead and buy them, because you get to enjoy what you purchased. Look at that bagel. That's nine days. Instead of that, this. English muffins, instead of that, this at 90, and the aroma mm -hmm. is just beautiful. Mm. So Does here, it smell like nine days? No, this is one of the boxes in the set. This is a 19 and a quarter cup box. Look at what it's holding there. This is a massive box. You're also getting one of my bread boxes. We call it a bread box because it holds a whole loaf, mm -hmm. right? And then at 11 days, this is what you find instead of that mm -hmm. and this. This is what you want to use. This is what you want to find when your family wants to take sandwiches. It's summertime. Okay, the kids are not going to school, but what are you, are you sending camp, sandwiches to camp? Mm -hmm. You make their sandwiches in advance because you want them to eat what you want them to eat, not go get a snack at some place you're not unsure of. Right. You're getting one of my bread boxes in the set, but it's not just for bread. Every one, and this is one of the divided eight cup boxes, it's four cups on each side. Every box in my green boxes can be used for produce or baked goods. Okay. So it doesn't have to be relegated to one thing. Okay. And let's say I have celery in it this time, next time I could put bread in it. It doesn't mm -hmm. matter. Okay. You just keep using them. At 21 days, wow. three weeks, look at the difference. Dead food, live food. Mm -hmm. All right, that's yeah. the difference. What happens is that produce gives off something called ethylene gas. It's a natural ripening agent. Mother Nature doesn't know when to stop, so she rots. Mm -hmm. And it goes on and on, unless you put your things, your produce in a Debbie Meyer green box, and at three weeks, you wow. have the crunchiest, crispiest, most beautiful, moist, celery yeah. you've ever had. Yeah. Look at the difference, that's alive. That color tells you it's alive. Right. So take care of them, top rack dishwasher safe. Okay. All I'm asking you to do is to remove original packaging. Mm -hmm. Because original packaging is nothing but a transportation device. It was never intended to help save food, it was never intended to store food. It was intended to get the food to you. Yes. That's it. And once it gets to you, put it in your green, Debbie Meyer green That's boxes. That's all you do. So I buy my mushrooms pre-sliced because I like the convenience. They go off even faster. But testing showed at nine days, that's what they would look like. Yeah. This is nine days in one of my green boxes. Mm -hmm. You know, tomatoes. We're talking about, you know, we're talking about um, appliances that cut up, grind, chop, mm -hmm. everything, or, or, or just peel. Mm -hmm. You want to use the freshest possible produce you can find. Yeah. You do not want to be using old things to make things. Just because they're mixed up doesn't mean they, mm -hmm. that you should be using old and possibly going off. 14-day mm -hmm. tomatoes. 14 day tomato, look at that. Look That's at what a 14 that. day tomato should look like. Yeah. And it does when you're using my boxes. Hundreds of millions of boxes are in use and over a billion of my green bags are in use and have been sold because they work. Mm -hmm. They will not let me buy this much parsley. Because <laughs> that's all you that's want. That's all I wanted. Yeah. <laughs> they make me buy this much parsley. Yeah. So I might as well be able to keep all that parsley fresh and use it for more things instead of turning it into that yeah. in two 
weeks. Yes. Peppers. Okay, let's see. I think if you throw away those, mm -hmm. you've thrown away a flex pay. I know because peppers are so expensive <laughs> and I don't know why. Unbelievably expensive. Look at that. And especially the red and the yellows. Mm -hmm. They are the most expensive. Well, in three weeks, that's what they turned into except for this. Hear how, how solid and thick that is? That's mm -hmm. three weeks. Look at that, look at the moisture. You want all of those um, seeds to be intact inside. That tells you that the pepper is fresh mm -hmm. and gorgeous. Mm. I mean, just, you could bite that like an apple. Oh, uh, I wanted to, my mouth just yeah. started <laughs> salivating. 21 day, 21 day lettuce. Now here's a green box. Two heads of iceberg lettuce. Yeah. All right, 21 days, whoops. Gotta pull it out there, 21 days. Now if I use half this head of beautiful lettuce, listen mm -hmm. to this. That's three week lettuce, mm -hmm. three weeks. I use half the head, put the other half back in because my boxes will continue to work. They start working the moment you put something in. You don't have to time it, you don't have to do anything to it, you don't have to seal it, you don't have to watch it or think about it ever again. Just put it in the box and keep enjoying what you've used. Okay. It's as simple as that. Do I wash the food before I put it in or does it matter? Actually, I don't. Okay. I tend not to. Um, things that you buy like mushrooms wraps are pre-washed, but I tend to wash things as I'm going to eat them because I haven't introduced more moisture. And speaking of moisture, mm -hmm. if you see any moisture in the box at all after you've put fruit in it or, veg or vegetables of any kind, that's part of the respiration of the fruit itself. Just wipe it out with a paper towel. Mm -hmm. It has nothing to do with the efficacy of the boxes. It won't harm anything. It doesn't mean anything other than the fruit is actually going through its own process. Okay. That's 14 days. Mm -hmm. That's 14 days. What do you want to find in your fridge when you're ready for a nice, <laughs> nice little cold snack? Yeah. Right? Right. All right. Here's the science. Let me do this for you very quickly. We don't have, oh, sorry. I hit my mic. Sorry. <laughs> We don't have a whole lot of time, so I just want to do this real fast. The ethylene gas I spoke of is trapped in this bag. That is not air. That is the gas given off by all that salad. Mm -hmm. Look at what the salad is doing in that bag. Yeah. It's rotting. Oh, yeah. When you buy things, and like I said, transportation devices, if you bring it home and you open it and then you try to close it up again, mm -hmm. I don't care if you staple it, if you heat seal it, if you put a rubber band around it, you're trapping the very thing that's causing the problem. Air is not the enemy of produce. It is the ethylene gas. So if you do that, or if you put it in ordinary plastic, ordinary glass, I don't care what you put it in. If it's not in my Debbie Meyer green boxes, it is not doing anything for your food except helping it accelerate its rotting process. Okay. okay. Now, here's my divided plates. Now, I love them. I do, in fact, love to use these for meals, mm -hmm. but you don't have to. This is what I take when I go to my girlfriend's house with a bottle of wine, mm -hmm. <laughs> a cheese and salami plate. Here is my salsa bar, and here are my chips. Nice, fresh, crunchy chips. Yeah. Here's a divided box. Instead of being used for produce, it's being used for baked goods. Here are more baked goods. You feel like a cookie? Oh, always. Oh, okay. What would you like? Chocolate chip, soft baked chocolate chip cookie. Mm -mm. Tamara and I have been together so many years, <laughs> I can't fool her. She knows that that's a 42 day old cookie. That's, wow. <laughs> yeah, 42 days old. That was because independent laboratory testing said baked goods did not lose their taste, texture, or aroma, which is what we love about baked goods, right? Oh my gosh. Okay, this is the set. I'm showing it to you really quickly. Mm -hmm. You're getting big pieces like the bread box and the 19 cup. You're getting medium size, the eight cups. You're getting divi two divided plates. You're getting rounds, you're getting squares, you're getting rectangles. You will find uses for all of them. Just a little tip, this one, this is a 1.125 cup. It is not only perfect for portion control, it holds one muffin or one cupcake. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what goes to lunch with me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I know I know that our clock is quickly saying, running down, but yes, remember, look, you, you've got you don't uh, want flex that. pay on this, and you also have free shipping. You don't want that. You, you get want to this. Keep, you get to keep your money without throwing it in the trash can. What is everyone talking about? Stop wasting mm -hmm. our planet. Mm -hmm. Stop wasting food. Stop wasting money. Look at that color. Look at that moisture. And look at all the carrots in that box. If you juice, if you make baby food, you want to use the freshest possible things always. Here's the divided plate done as a fruit plate. We take that along with us when we go out mm -hmm. instead of stopping at a greasy spoon for a snack very I've nice got some nice fresh fruit you should not be able to tie your green beans <laughs> into a knot i'm telling you right now yeah. i could do it if i had more time why, why, look at that you should not be able to do that okay what you should be able to do is go snap, snap. 
Yeah. That's 14 days. 21 days. Oh, yeah. 21 days. Wow. The difference is what you see right here. This is independent laboratory tested. The ingredients in my proprietary formula that are part of the construction of the box are natural. You don't have to do anything to make it work. You don't have to do anything at all. Just put it in and eat it when you want it. That's the story. Okay. 21 and days. And never going to wash out. Never, never going to wear out. Mm -hmm. Never going to wash out. It's going to work as long as that box is somewhere sitting on a shelf. It's still yes. working. Okay. It just isn't, doesn't have fruit in it. Okay. You can, of course, use it for leftovers. You can, of course, use them for everything. But they were specifically designed by me to keep your protein and your baked goods fresh longer. 14 days ago, well, actually more because these were for Memorial Day. Mm. I bought them two weeks before, I can't even touch these, <laughs> two weeks before Memorial Day because I got a deal on corn. Okay. So look, that's 14 days. There's a difference. Look at how many corns are in that wow. bread box. More divided plates. Yeah. Here's hummus. Here's dip. You made hummus just a moment ago. Mm -hmm. Here's your nice fresh veggies for your hummus. In my house, we have a salad bar. Mm -hmm. I don't want to waste money, so I got tired of watching people flick things out of their salad that they didn't want. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't want an olive, I don't want a cranberry. Mm -hmm. Okay, put what you want <laughs> instead. Right. So if we do that, we can close everything up and take it with us if we want to go out for the day, we want to go on a picnic, want to go to the beach. And I know... Here's the muffin. And, and, and I know that when you see this 34 pieces in this set, it's a lot, but you're going to find that you use oh, them all the time. You, so And give them as gifts. For because sure. Because they are the perfect way to start start somebody out the right way Definitely. on taking care of their homes and their bodies, their, mm -hmm. their budgets, and stop wasting food and money. It's For the sure. easiest money you're ever going to save. And remember, you're getting all different sizes of the green boxes in this 34 piece set. But we also have, if you wanted uh, the four piece of the bread box set, right we've got that as well, because maybe you need more of the bigger pieces. And So two more of those. Yeah. So you could go ahead and pick those up as well. You've got flex pay on those as well. And they work just the same. So you can put these in the refrigerator, in the freezer, or countertop, however you would normally store that you know, that food, that's, right. that's how you, that's, you just put it in the, in the Debbie Meyer green boxes and that's how you store it. So you can keep shopping for those, but Debbie, I use your green boxes every day and I also use your genius sponges every day. They really are genius and you're getting 18 of them. That's right, you're getting 18 of my sponges. The word sponge is where the similarity ends between what you know of, of, of as a sponge. My sponges are extremely special because my sponges are made with, a natu with natural ingredients that inhibit the growth of mold and bacteria in and on the sponge for the life of the sponge. So if you have something like this sitting next to your sink right now, <laughs> that's what stinks. Yikes. Not your sink, it's your sponge. Throw Yikes. that away. And I'm gonna show you a little piece of tape right now prepared by the laboratory that tested my sponges. If that's sitting next to your sink right now, that is what's in it. Oh. Not only in it, it's growing, oh. it's multiplying. Switch to one of my sponges right there and you'll see poof, poof. That's because my sponges will not allow the growth of molds and bacteria in or on the sponge for the life of the sponge. An incredible absorption. I'm gonna show you that live if we have enough time. Mm -hmm. But every single one of my sponges lasts the equivalent of 15 ordinary sponges. You'll see a silver back and a, and a green back mm -hmm. there. The green is for scrubbing, the silver is for scouring. Remember, silver scour, mm -hmm. that's a very heavy duty. Despite the fact that it's so soft, mm -hmm. they never get hard, they never stink, they never smell, and 15 times 18, 18 sponges that you're getting. Is, you don't have to buy this. Wow. 270 ordinary sponges with just 18 of mine. That's wow. significant savings. How do you save money on sponges? You don't buy them. <laughs> <laughs> you have ones that last longer and longer. Please go look at the customer reviews. Yeah. I am absolutely fascinated by how many people, thousands of people leave five stars reviews on a sponge. Sponge. Yes. Look at the bottom of this pan real quick. Mm -hmm. That's the difference. This I'm embarrassed. This was my pot. <laughs> <laughs> I did this side with the silver side. Okay. I did I, and this side is what it looked like. So you know some people like to use uh, dish rags and things. You know what? I prefer sponges. I always have. Mm -hmm. But these sponges are going to use far less detergent because when you squeeze these, you're going to see foam like you've never seen before. Very true. 
And they don't, they last so long. Like I said, every one of these is 15 times. I love that they're um, ergonomic. They feel good in your hand. They're yes. thicker than those old I, sponges. But I did that for you so your nails wouldn't touch the scrubby side. Thank you. I took care of everything, okay? So this is a little bit of demonstration. Look oh, how fat, look at the it's water. It's so thirsty. It's just running into the sponge. It's creating its own dam because it so, absorbs so much. Look, 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 it's there. Ooh. You're getting 18 of them um, for just under $20. You've got flex pay as well. Read the reviews because it is a customer <laughs> pick, and I know yeah. you're going to love them. And as always, thank and you so millions much. Millions of these are out there now, and thank sure. you because you haven't. <laughs> you, you know I have them. I, I want to make sure you go ahead and pick thank yours you. up, and you can call us or you can always shop on hsn.com to get them as well and take advantage of that featured price. We're going to take a listen to a word from Andrew Lessman, and then we're going to get set up for our next hour, and I hope you'll stay with me. Hi there, Andrew Lesman here with a quick look at one of our monthly specials. In addition to our acetyl L-carnitine I'll be speaking about here, we also have our ultimate women's wellness and for men, our prostate support. But in terms of acetyl L-carnitine, that represents an unusual opportunity for us to do something special for ourselves in terms of our brain, giving one of the most important molecules in terms of supporting our brain, the energy our brain requires, supporting the creation of the neurotransmitters that allows our brain and our nervous system to communicate, but also do something that supports fat-burning metabolism. Uh, usually we don't look at those things as working hand in hand, but in that wonderful model, that God-given blueprint we all possess, it's incredible how molecules can play multiple roles. In this case, a molecule that's critical for fat-burning metabolism, you can't burn fat without it, is also an essential molecule in terms of energy production in the brain and also in terms of creating the neurotransmitters in the brain that we all rely upon. So if you want to take advantage of a unique opportunity, it's a unique opportunity to benefit both systems in your body, but also a unique opportunity to save, then it's our, our monthly special.